I'm Jonathan Handy with Eco3. We're here at a recent client's house, uh, suffering from some cold spots, hot spots in the summer, just really overall comfort in the home. One of the things that we find a lot in homes are airflow deficiencies. An airflow deficiency you don't want to have and that you want to make sure is fixed properly is one that comes from the attic. Our attics in the south, they get very hot. If you go into a traditional attic and you start to, to dig around, you're going to find what is referred to as a top plate. A lot of the times, those top plates are wide open in terms of airflow to the conditioned space. It's where a lot of plumbing lines and, and wiring and old telephone lines, cable lines, whatever it is, are run through. And so, you know, one of the things that we do, we come in, we find these top plates, either interior or exterior top plates, and we seal them up properly. It's um, a very, very cost-effective and, of course, effective upgrade. If you can see the ceiling joists in your attic, you need more insulation. Airflow deficiencies in the attic are something that are so repetitive, and again, it's a very cost-effective upgrade to make. Um, so, you know, in this particular attic, one of the things that we did was what we call a comprehensive air seal package. So we sealed around all of the top plates. There were some chase ways that we sealed up. There's lighting penetrations, there's wire penetrations, a lot of different areas that we sealed up before adding new insulation. You see, traditional loose fill or fiberglass type of insulation, that stuff is not an air barrier. You could put 10 foot of it in an attic. It's not an air barrier. So if you're suffering from an airflow deficiency, it is in your best interest uh, in terms of comfort and your pocketbook to have that sealed up before adding new insulation. Another repetitive problem that we see in most homes is issues with the ductwork. Now me personally, over the last 12 and a half years, I've been in about 3,500 homes and I have had less than 10 that had ductwork that was properly sealed. So if you have ductwork that's leaking and it's in your attic or it's in your crawl space, it's costing you money and it's costing you comfort. You want your ductwork to be properly air sealed. And that's from an energy efficiency thing, a comfort thing, but also an air quality thing. If you're breathing in dirtier attic air or dirty crawl space air, it's affecting uh, obviously the health of the home. With this, you know, just particular example here, you can see where this collar has been properly air sealed. Before this was applied, before we took care of this, you could have probably put your hand in that. Another place to think about is either a garage, a crawl space, an unfinished basement. Here we're looking at um, really open bottom plates now that have been sealed, penetration points, uh, plumbing penetration points that have been sealed. One of the things you want to think about if, if you have air that is allowed to get into the conditioned space from either garage, you want to make sure that you're not putting cars in there because of VOCs or gasoline or fertilizer, things like that, because the air that's inside of that garage, it's going to make its way into your house unless you seal it up properly. You know, the other side of this wall is conditioned space. So we want to make sure that we're separating in terms of airflow the unconditioned garage from the conditioned space. We don't want those two talking to each other. So you can see here that we took care of the open penetration points and it's a simple upgrade and it's a very effective upgrade for comfort, for air quality and efficiency. We are happy to help with any of your energy efficiency, comfort, uh, safety issues you feel like you might be having in your house. We are also a full service insulation company, handle all types of insulation. Call us today for any more information you might need.